Welcome back to how I created a perfect tactic where in these episodes I pick a team, have a look at their better players and create a specific tactic around that. So in today's episode we'll be picking Tottenham but with their new signings. They have signed two midfielders Rodrigo Bentancourt and Dejan Kulusevski, both from Juventus. So in this video we're going to break down the Tottenham squad, find out the best formation but also get the best out of Harry Kane and Son. Let's get started. If you are new or you haven't yet make sure you are subscribed, make sure you like the video, share it, leave a comment, all of that good stuff is all going to help the channel and now let's get stuck in. So if you are new to this episode, what we would typically do is look at the results, then look at the squad, break down the tactic, and then lastly, play a game. With this Tottenham save, we actually do have a European final. We have the Europa Conference final, so we do have an important game to play. But I also want to show you guys some results that I got with Bournemouth, though this video is how I created a perfect tactic for Tottenham Hotspur. I just wanted to show you guys that it also can work at other teams. But now, let's look at the results at Tottenham Hotspur and Bournemouth. So in superb fashion, we actually won the Premier League. We played 38, we won 30, we drew four, three of those draws coming at home and we lost four, where all four of those losses came away from home. We lost to West Ham, Manchester United, Manchester City and Liverpool. Three of those teams, I mean, it's no disgrace that we are losing to them at their home ground. In the Europa Conference League, we do have the final to play against Celtic, which we will be playing at the end of the video. In the Emirates FA Cup, we got knocked out in the fourth round by Middlesbrough and in the Carabao Cup we got knocked out in the fourth round again but this time by Chelsea. In the English Premier League Harry Kane scored a whooping 41 goals absolutely smashed it in the Premier League he had the highest average rating 8.06 it's going to be intriguing to see what role we use for Harry Kane for the assist nobody in the top three but the man of the match awards Harry Kane Hugo Lloris has 18 clean sheets and Bentancourt wrapped up the most yellow cards. So looking at the team overview we scored the most goals in the English Premier League for the most shots four we came in third for the fewest shots against again we're coming in third for the best pass completion we are in seventh place for the most possession again in seventh place with 52 percent for the most tackles won we finished on top with 731 we are putting in a lot of tackles for the most dribbles made Tottenham Hotspur in sixth place for the most clean sheets we come in second and for the fewest conceded we come in second just by three goals Liverpool conceded 23 we conceded 26. Now, looking at the top goal scorers, as we already discovered, Harry Kane scored 41 goals. He only played 34 games. Hun Min Song scored 22 goals in 38 games. So we did develop a nice striking partnership, which we will look at again in more detail. For the most assists, Harry Kane with 13 assists. So he's got the most goals. He got 13 assists as well. For the most shots for Harry Kane, Hun Min Song, both in the top eight. Most man of the match awards, Harry Kane tops that list. For the most key passes, Pierre Emil Hoisberg in sixth place for the best pass completion, Davison Sanchez and Christian Romero both in fourth and fifth place. For most tackles won, we do have Sergio Relion in top. We have Rodrigo Bentancourt in sixth place and Hoisberg in seventh. Most dribbles made, Sergio Relion in second place. And for the most clean sheets, well, Hugo Lloris behind Alisson with 18 clean sheets. And Hugo Lloris conceded 26 goals in the English Premier Division. Now quickly looking at the data hub, we can see that Tottenham Hotspur were aggressive and clinical with their attacking efficiency. Defensively, we were quiet and impenetrable though. We did face around nine shots or 10 shots per game, which is a lot. But when we look at the XG table, we did have the fewest XG against or the second fewest XG against. So defensively, we were pretty strong. So for the goal output, we had high quality shooting with a strong defense. For the passing, we made a lot of passes. We were also fairly accurate. For the movement, we made a lot of dribbles, but we were reliable in possession, which is a good sign. And for the possession, we infrequently win the ball, but we were also reliable in possession. We did make a lot of crosses, but we were also accurate with our crossing. Now, let's look at the squad stats before we break the team down and get our formation. Harry Kane, he's got 49 goals in all competition, just one away from 50. Hopefully, he can get that in the final. Hung Ming 
Song scored 26 goals. Daily Ali scored 19. It is a transfer update that we are using, but this was updated before Delhi Ali's move to Everton was confirmed, which is the reason why we still have Delhi Ali. For the newest update, of course, Delhi Ali will be in Everton. Kulusevski, he's got 12 goals with 13 assists, and Lucas Moura scored 10. That there is all the important stats. Actually, we can load up that Bournemouth save just to see how well they done in the 12 or 13 games that I played. So I've loaded up the Bournemouth safe and if we go through the league table you can see Bournemouth are currently on top of the league where we played 14 games so far we've won 12, we've drawn 2 and well we've lost no games we scored 36 and we've only conceded five goals very impressive at AFC Bournemouth so if we do look at the results it started with a very good 3-0 victory against West Brom we've also knocked out Wolves in the Carabao Cup so you know that this tactic can also work against the bigger sides because we're in the championship Wolves are in the Premier League we've also beaten Sheffield United 5-1 at home we've beaten Hull City 3-0 away we've beaten QPR 5-0 so some big scores scoring games if we look at the top goal scorers Dominic Solanke has scored 18 goals in 14 starts so that striker role or whatever role that we're using up top must be powerful now let's break down the Tottenham side and get stuck in to creating that tactic So, welcome to Tottenham Hotspur. I mean, I support Arsenal, so I don't really feel nice doing this video. But, as you can see, Dejan Kulusevski, he is a new sign-in. And you can see he's player traits, he tries to kill the balls often, he plays his shots, he comes deep to get the ball, he dwells on the ball, he also looks for the pass rather than attempting to score. He's got very good passing technique, vision, his composure is fairly decent, so his decision-making, his balance is there, strength, first touch, dribbling. I mean, this guy is absolutely made to be a playmaker, surely. Absolutely surely, but football manager believes inverted winger or inside forward is best. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. And the other new signing was Ben Tancor, if I can even find him. Hello, Ben Tancor. There we are. There we are. Rodrigo Ben Tancor, who, in truth, is not the greatest player on football manager. I would have thought of his playing style to be more of a playmaker, but on football manager, it seems he's actually more of a ball winning midfielder. Football manager believes so, but also just looking at his attributes, he's got very good aggression or very high aggression, as I say. He can anticipate the game, he's got good bravery. Rather than having good off the ball movement, which good off the ball movement coupled with anticipation could signal a very decent player going forward, he's got good anticipation coupled with positioning. To me, that means he can read the game well, he can anticipate situations happening, but he can also position himself in the correct place to stop certain things from happening. Or he's in a good place to make that tackle, which he's very good at. He's very decent at marking as well. His balance is good, his strength is good, so even when he's tackling, he won't be easily knocked off balance. He's also going to tackles with some strength as well. He's got a decent first touch, decent dribbling. He comes deep to get the ball, he dictates tempo, but you can also do that as a ball winning midfielder. You don't necessarily have to be a playmaker in order for you to dictate tempo and comes deep with the ball so that is something that we should keep in mind with Rodrigo Bentancor but also with Kulusevski that I believe he's better as a playmaker rather than an inverted winger but if we look at the other players the strengths around the squad we got Harry Kane he of course is going to be a striker no doubt about that we got Heusberg absolutely no doubt he's going to be a central midfielder Hunman Sung now I believe we can form a partnership with Harry Kane and Son. If we go to information, as we can see here, his favoured personnel is Harry Kane. It's also Bert Leno. Whoopsie. But we can also see that his favoured personnel is Harry Kane. He's a teammate. So it could be a very, very good idea to have both of them up top at the same time. That can form a very good partnership. We do have Lucas Moura with good start ability, but we're going to put him on hold just for the moment because we're not quite sure if we're going to be using wingers just yet. Christian Romero, of course, is going to be in defense. Bentan Kaur, for the purpose of this video, has to play in midfield. We've got Hugo Lloris, of course, he's going to play in goal. He's not going to play up top. Davison Sanchez at the Back with Christian Romero, Sergio Relion as the left back. We're going to need a right back, Matt Doherty, and we also have Eric Dyer. Well, we have a few players on the good ability. Yeah, we can kind of work out what formation to use from here. So Dejan Kulovetsky, he of course is going to be a midfielder, and I believe a strength at Tottenham Hotspur is actually the central midfield. So you can see that we have Benton Cole here, we have Hoisberg, we have Eric Dyer. Kulovetsky can play as an attacking midfielder. We still have Deli Ali 
Martinelli who we may not use a lot. We have Harry Winks as well and we have Oliver Skip who has good potential ability. So we're pretty stacked in central midfield with good players as well where we're not necessarily very strong on the flanks unless we use Son on the flanks with Lucas Moura and then we have Dejan Kulaveski as well that can play on the flanks. But in my head, I believe we can go for a formation where the midfielders is going to be the key area. So now let's look at the tactics board. So as we can see, the 4-4-2 is set by default, but what we're going to do now is kind of have a thing. Are we going to use Lucas Mora and play with wingers or we're going to use Eric Dyer in central midfield and just pack out that central midfield area and then we can also form a very strong relationship between Kane and Son so I believe the latter is the better idea Eric Dyer out on the left wing but we can drag him to defensive midfield and that leaves Kulovzeski as the attacker midfielder and there we have a 4-4-2 diamond narrow shape on football manager this shape of course is naturally going to promote some central play but also we can get some nice over overloads in the central area some nice numerical advantages of course there aren't going to be a lot of teams in the league if any that are going to be playing with four central midfielders just like we are of course a weakness is pretty obvious the flanks the opponents can attack down the flanks which is what happened quite a few times but it doesn't mean that they can create some good opportunities from it as we saw our xg against was the second best in the league so this is the shape that we're going to go with now it's all about getting the best out of the certain players that we want so harry kane of course we want to get the best out of him he tries killer balls often he tries long range passes he gets the crowd going but i believe he's a goal scorer he's better as a goal scorer i don't really want him to be a creative player because we do have dejan kulovzeski for that so we don't necessarily need two creative players in the attacking third because we're going to have a playmaker here, of course we are. And then we can have some creative players in central midfield or players creating in central midfield and obviously players creating out on the flank. So Harry Kane for me can just be a pure goal scorer. He doesn't have the pace to be running down the channels and chasing the through balls for me. Harry Kane, he's just going to operate in the box. He's going to be a goal scorer. He's just going to be focusing on scoring those chances. Now, for his strike partner, Hun Min Sung, he does have the pace to be running down the channels. He also has the teamwork. He has the work rate for it. If we look at the advanced playmaking role, he's got very good finishing, very good composure, off the ball movement as well. He moves into the channels. I mean, this role looks set for him. So, looking at the strike partnership, I believe that we can use the advanced forward and the poacher for Song and Kane. Behind them, for Kulovzeski, we can use the advanced playmaker either on support or on attack. Now, if we look at him again, he's dribbling, his flair, his balance, his anticipation, his off the ball movement. I believe he can do very well on attack. Looking at the advanced playmaker on a supportive duty, he will look to stay in the hole and look to spray passes forward to the forwards. But on the attacking duty, he will look to run at the defense, but also create by crossing or playing through balls as he moves into the final third. Now, this is something that he can be very good at. Of course, he has the dribbling, he has the flair, and he has the balance to be running with the ball. The front three or the top attacking three, advanced forward, poacher, and advanced player maker now just behind them for Ben Tancourt. As we look at his profile and we've already discovered that I believe his best playing role on football manager can be the ball winning midfielder on support. We can play him on the left hand side of the midfield as well because his left foot he is fairly strong. He is a right footed player but he can use his left foot so he shouldn't be weak on that left side of central midfield. I believe he can be our ball winning midfielder so that is exactly what we're going to do and you can see here as well this would be his best role on football manager another midfielder that likes to dictate his tempo but he likes to switch play to the flanks he likes to try killer balls he likes to shoot from distance he's also best as a ball winning midfielder according to football manager or according to the scouts and assistants at Tottenham Hotspur but we may have to find a different role for him. Now, bear in mind when you're thinking about roles, you don't just want to put players in their best roles because what can happen after a while is that your tactic becomes unbalanced if you're just putting everybody in their best roles and their best duties. So after a while, you're going to have to start thinking about balance. How can we balance the fact that we've got a lot of attacking players at the top? We've got a ball winning midfielder as well, so we don't have mock structure. We don't have many players holding their position. So that is what we can think about when it comes to Heusberg and everything. 
Eric Dyer. Now, for Eric Dyer, he's on defensive midfielder, on support. I believe we can actually leave it as that. And this gives us flexibility as well. When we're playing against the bigger sides, we can easily switch to defense. And when we're playing the easier side, or 90% of the time, we can leave him on defensive midfielder, on support. He doesn't need to be a deep line playmaker because he isn't going to be our creative player. Because Zeski is, he's not going to be a ball winning midfielder. An anchor man that doesn't give us flexibility between choosing a defensive role and a supportive role. The same with a halfback and basically the same as a register and a playmaker. The reasons why we're not using a playmaker is because we already have one. So for Eric Dyer, we're going to leave him on defensive midfielder on support and for Hoisberg. At first, I thought to use a Mazzala to get help out on the flanks, but I don't believe Hoisberg will be very good at that role. But also, it wouldn't really give us that stability that we're searching for. A generic role like central midfielder could possibly help us in this situation. A buster box midfielder naturally would roam from his position as that is hard coded. A Carrillero naturally would stay wider as that too is hard coded. So a central midfielder, he doesn't have any specific instructions just as yet. So I believe this can be our player roles in attack and central midfield. Now in defence, by preference, I always just go with ball playing defenders, especially at decent size as I know these players or these defenders should be capable as playing as a ball playing defender now looking at the wing backs we do need some help on the flanks especially when it comes to creating chances if we go to wing back if we just hover over the support and just read the description as well usually playing out wide with no wing support which is what relates to us the wing back must fulfill the attacking and defensive duties of wingers and full backs this is exactly what we are looking for with the supportive duty the wing back aims to provide angle through balls out wide although still crosses when the opportunity arises with an attacking duty the wing back aims to overlap down the flank and provide wing support for the attack run at his marker and get crosses in from the byline now regardless of the duty they both will be looking to get further forward so we can be using support again looking at balancing we're trying to balance the tactic we don't want to have too many attacking duties but what we can also do as well for the wing back on attack he likes to get down to the byline he likes to put crosses in which is something that we can still do with the wing back on support we can ask him to cross from the byline and we can ask him to cross more often lastly for the goalkeeper Hugo Lloris again by preference I always go to sweep a keeper on the defensive duty we have sorted out the player roles the perfect player roles the perfect formation for Tottenham Hotspur now it's all about getting those team instructions and the player instructions to really fine tune this tactic and really make it perfect for Tottenham Hotspur. Now looking at the player roles that we have used, I mean other than the poacher, I believe that we can go for something more possession based. So we're going to use the positive mentality and we're also going to be playing out from the defence. Given the shape and the fact that the strength is in central midfield and we can have the numerical advantage in central midfield, I believe that we should be focusing through the middle. We should be attacking intensely in those central areas and that can also get the best out of Kulovzewski, Son and Harry Kane. We're also going to be running at the defence. Now looking at the formation, you can notice that we have no wingers. So naturally, there aren't going to be anybody dribbling more with the ball. So if we go through all of these player roles, looking at the instructions, there aren't anybody apart from the advanced playmaker dribbling more often with the ball. If we move Son just for now, if we move him to winger, you can see that dribble more is there. If we move to inside forward, dribble more is there. Inverted winger, dribble more is there. So more often than not, your wingers will be high volume dribblers. And in this formation, we don't have any wingers, but we still need to be attacking. We still need to be forward thinking and we still want players running at defenders with the ball. So we will be adding running at the defense. We're gonna be working the ball into the box as well and sending in low crosses. Though Kane is fairly decent in the air, we don't want to be sending all of our crosses in the air. If we send in low crosses, not all of the crosses are going to be low. We're just increasing that tendency. Now, in transition, when the possession has been lost, we are going to be counter pressing the opponents and we are also going to be making counter movements once the possession has been won. So now I've gone to my second slot and what we're going to do here is because I'm using counter which can be fairly risky especially with the shape. So we're just going to move players further forward so if we do go on a counter attack I mean the wing back can get further forward, Bentan Kaur can get further forward, so can Hoisberg as well. Do we have enough players on the cover? We do have a defensive midfielder who we can actually ask 
to hold his position. So we do have a holding midfielder here and we do have our two central defenders, which will be our rest defense. If we do lose the ball higher up, we can rely on these three players to constantly be back and providing that cover for us. So I believe with this tactic, we can use counter when the possession has been won. And when the goalkeeper is in possession, he can distribute the ball to either the center backs or the full backs. There's no set way of playing out from the back from the goalkeeper. Now, lastly, out of possession, and because we are a possession based side, we do want to win the ball higher up or fairly higher up the pitch in order to be in possession of the ball. So the defensive line is set to higher, the standard line of engagement is set to higher, the trigger press is set to more often rather than much more often. We don't necessarily want players to be out of position a lot of the times because then the opposition can really, really break us down. We are going to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution as well. And lastly, get stuck in now now you shouldn't always have the instruction get stuck in on i do have a video or zealand has a video with me in it all about what you shouldn't do or what you should avoid when creating tactics get stuck in just leaving it on was one of those things so generally you would leave get stuck in on because we aren't the most intense high press we don't have players running all over the pitch trying to close other players down so getting stuck in we can get away with it but still you might rack up a few yellow cards if you are racking up a few yellow cards during the 90 minutes just remove the instruction it's not worth getting those second yellow cards or even a red but that is the tactic all wrapped up and as you can see with the completed tactic is absolutely or completely identical now though we do have to fine tune the player roles so we could just go to the completed version and have a look at the player roles that we have chosen and possibly why So now, just using the completed version of the tactic, we can have a look at some of the player instructions. Now, for Son, he does have tackle harder, just in case you do not have get stuck in if you leave it off, which is what I did at the start of the season. I did have Son on tackle harder, just so we can be more aggressive and more forceful at the top of the pitch when they are trying to play out from the back when we're closing them down higher up the pitch i believe that we could have been more forceful and aggressive with our challenges so the same would be with harry kane but we also have shoot more often with harry kane i mean he's got long shot 16 he's finishing his 19 technique 16 why wouldn't you want him to be shooting more often now for kulazeski similar tackle harder just so we can be more forceful at the top but also move into the channels now the poacher isn't going to be moving into the channels and i believe that really you should be having at least two players at least two players moving into the channel which is making defending a little bit more difficult for the opponent so the advanced playmaker will be moving into the channels the advanced forward can also be moving into the channels but that could also leave space for the poacher to operate and just be free in attack now for the ball winner midfielder ben tanko he has no added instruction for hoisberg we have increased the tendency for him to get further forward now i have spoke a little about this in the comments of my previous video let's say if i use take more risks that doesn't mean every time he's going to get the ball he's going to take more risk what we're actually doing is just increasing that tendency so shoot more often we're increasing the tendency of him shooting more often not necessarily telling him look every time you have the ball around the box shoot that is not exactly what we are telling him so forget further forward on Heusberg though I said earlier that we could possibly use hold position actually we want him to get further forward just to support the attack in this area and again we're just increasing that tendency not necessarily him always getting further forward once we are in possession for the holding midfielder he does have hold his position and he also has dribble less as well just so he can pop the ball about the rest of the team will be running at the defense and i don't really want eric dyer to be running with the ball at the defense now for the wing backs they are going to be crossing more often crossing from the byline and also staying wider because we need some players constantly stretching the pitch as we don't have any other wide players so the wide players in this system they are responsible of holding their width at the back for the two central defenders they have no added instructions and for the goalkeeper he too has no added instructions and that there wraps up this perfect tactic for Tottenham Hotspur it's a 4-4-2 diamond it's fun Harry Kane scores 
plenty of goals as we've seen already and now it's time to play that game and before we do we can have a look at the training just to show you guys what i'm doing in training i'm not just asking the assistant manager to do it i'm actually taking control of my training as well so we are at the beginning of the season so you will see me have set up all of my training schedules for the whole season as you can see these are my training schedules now if we go to the training go to costume i have one match two match and international break this is all set already for the whole season so i don't have to do anything other than when the match gets rearranged i just have to sort that out and for the players the roles that they're going to be training in or the position you're simply just putting the exact position and role that they're playing in in the tactics so for hugo loris it's going to be the super keeper on defend for the center backs all of the center backs is going to be the ball playing defender on defensive duty all of the wing backs are going to be wing back on support you're going to do that throughout the whole squad so that there is the tactic the training everything all wrapped up now let's get stuck into that game and let's play that game against celtic which is a european final so welcome to the european final the second one for tottenham hotspur in recent years they of course went to the champions league final where they played not Ajax, Liverpool, I was just about to say Ajax, they knocked out Ajax in a very crazy game. But what we are going to do now is play this game against Celtic. Hopefully we win, hopefully we win. It would be a bit embarrassing if we didn't. We also see Kane picking up all the awards, but none of that or less of that, sorry. Let's get into, oh, Ganga, why are you moaning? Leave. So this is the team that we are going to be playing with. Emerson Royals on the bench because he's tired. We just played a game just a few days ago against Crystal Palace, which is crazy. They hardly give us any rest before this European final. Same with Christian Romero. He's tired. He's knackered. So this is the team that we are going to be playing with. A few players are tired, so hopefully they can last this game. Let's submit this team and let's play. I was just about to scream, come on you Spurs, but Nah, none of that. I'm a gooner. Come on, boys. Let's get stuck in. Come on, boys. It just said they cleared the ball off the line, but it didn't even give us the highlight. Here's Lugo Reese playing out from the back now. Davison Sanchez, Matt Doggerty. He's got some space to drive into. You can play it to Kane if he wants. No, he's just going to run, is he? Heusberg now. Back to Doggerty. Harry, oh, he looks for Harry Kane, but doesn't find him. Heusberg cuts it out. Here's Kane. He's got to score. It's 1-0 already. Harry Kane scores inside the first 13 minutes. Of course, it had to be Harry Kane. That there is his 50th goal. Football manager, I know it's a goal because you've already told me it's here. Here is Heusberg on the ball. He plays it to Matt Doggerty. He looks for the ball. Doesn't find Kane, but Hart, that's a poor ball. Heusberg intercepts it. It looked offside, to be fair. It did. <laughs> But of course, they looked at VAR, they concluded it wasn't offside. And there we are, 1-0 already. A nice assist from Pierre-Emile Heusberg. Here is Doggerty now. Eric Dyer, Bentancourt, Heusberg, Matt Doggerty. We do not have enough players back. We should have a... There we go. We've got one dropping back. Harry Kane! Is that the second? Yes, it is. It's his second. <laughs> We've only had two shots on target. Both of them have gone in. That was inspired by Doherty, it says. Harry is working hard out on that right flank with Heusberg. Nice link up between the two. Doherty gets the ball into the box. Kane just uh, slots it in with his right foot. It's 2-0. It's 2-0 to Tottenham Hotspur in this European final. I mean, a very good start. Here's Doherty now. Literally in the same area we just scored from. Tottenham Hotspur working the ball again. Three versus three, yeah. Who's going to come out on top? It's Tottenham. Oh, the ball's falling to Harry Kane. I mean, Joe Hart is having an absolute maring goal. He is playing against his former club. It says it was Julian's mistake. It looked like Joe Hart's mistake. Harry Kane has already scored a hat trick inside the first 30 minutes inside this European final. Inside this Euro in this European final. What is he doing? What is the goalkeeper doing there? But the game has put that down as the centre back's mistake. I feel sorry for Julian. So a very good first half so far. We've had six shots, four on target. Three of those have gone in. 3-0 at half time. Let's talk to the boys at half time. I also forgot actually as well, when you are playing against the bigger size, use cautious mentality away from home. When you are playing against the Liverpools, the Manchester Cities, the Man United, use cautious away from home. I did and I did lose against some of them, but we didn't lose to a big margin. Some of those were very close games and it was just more about of the quality that we lost against. I mean, it's very hard to keep Cristiano Ronaldo and Salah quiet for 90 minutes. But here are Celtic on the attack now. Sergio Aurelion, 
Oh, the goalkeeper's done the exact same thing as Joe Hart. Goalkeepers are having a nightmare. Here's Forrest with the ball. He's dribbling at Relion. He just allows him. And then goalkeepers have really struggled with that cross. They are really struggling. But here is Doggerty with no short option, which is fairly annoying. And now we've lost the ball. For some reason, nobody came short. But Benton Cole picks up the ball. Here's Son now. Eric Dyer running through the middle. He is the defensive midfielder, but come on, you've got to be doing better. Here's Heusberg now with a free kick. He doesn't usually score these. He's hit the post. Harry Kane gets a shot blocked by Taylor. That was almost 4-1. The highlight continues now. Julian with the free kick. Interception by Benton Cole. The ball in the midfielder. Son, he's got to score. And he just... Oh, come on, son. <laughs> come on, son. <laughs> How has he missed that one-on-one? -on -one? Davison Sanchez with the header. I mean, that was another clear-cut chance that we have missed. Eric Dyer and Son could have made it four to Tottenham, but they were unable to finish. Here are Celtic with the ball now. Let's hopefully they don't go and score another one and make this 3-2. Taylor now, Johnston for Celtic. So, oh, there's Forrest. He's running through. He's going to score. Oh, he's hit the post. They've almost made it 3-2. And I mean, I would have blamed... <laughs> I would have blamed us missing those chances. Oh, look, here they go on another attack now. Oh, they're getting through our defence. McGregor, we've got... Oh, come on, boys. What is going on at the defence? The tweet that you should be making now is making this defensive midfielder on defend. Here's Kane. Son's running through now. Go on, son. And he slots it in. It's four to Tottenham. Entertaining end to this Conference League final. But Son has just wrapped up the title he's wrapped up the trophy it is now Tottenham Hotspur 4 Celtic 1 so he just breaks through so it did have a few good chances there they broke through our defense and if that does happen to you what you can do is put your DM on defensive duty but you can also make one of your fullbacks a little bit more reserved or just use a no-nonsense fullback just like that let's go now we should just see the game out and that wraps up the final as we can see Tottenham Hotspur 4 Celtic 1 I mean are they even going to show us lifting up this trophy let's see no no ceremony no nothing but that wraps up the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This perfect 4-4-2 diamond for Tottenham Hotspur. Europa Conference League. Tottenham Hotspur lift the Europa Conference League on the last day. Unfortunately, that wraps up the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like the video. Leave a comment. All of that is going to help the channel and this video. Also, shout out to my Patreons. Stay safe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.